Hi everyone, it's Stephen Port here from DAPT UK. Today we're going to be going through how to capture praise from Microsoft Teams. One of the things we can do in Microsoft Teams, which is really good for showing your appreciation to your colleagues and to other users uh, within the business, is to send them some praise. Today we're going to be looking at how we can capture praise from a Teams channel. So looking at a Teams channel to make sure we're capturing that praise and uh, storing it in somewhere like a SharePoint list or potentially even Dataverse for Teams. So one of the first things I would do when creating praise within a Teams channel is I click on new conversation and I go down to the bottom of this icon here, which is called praise. When I click onto that, that will give me the options to select what type of praise or the badge I would like to give. I then, then can click on thank you, for example, and I can select the people I would like to send praise to. So in this example, I'm going to select Daniel and I'm also going to select Jack. I've also got the option to send a personalized note. So in here I can say um, thank you for helping with the webinar. Once I've done that, I can click on preview. I can see there I've got the nice praise badges going out to Daniel Fowl and Jack Wilson, the type of praise that's being sent and also the message that's going to be sent along with it. Once I'm happy with that, I can click on send and that will send that praise to those two users. So how do we capture this praise? So let's have a look at how automate. So we've created a workflow in Power Automate, which really is quite simple and allows us to extract the praise from um, the Microsoft Teams channel. So one of the first things we're going to look at is the first step, which is when a new channel message is added. Now, keep in mind, we can probably um, run this similar sort of workflow for um, a Teams message or for a Yammer praise, for example. We just have to change that trigger action as needed. But in this example, we're looking at channel messages. So I've added this action in here, which is when a new channel message is added and I've selected the team, the praise team and the channel that I want to be monitoring. I also want to ensure that this is only going to fire when praise is sent. So I'm also going to add in some trigger conditions. So to do that, I click on the three dots um, on this trigger action and I click on settings. Within here, you can see in the bottom, I've got my trigger conditions and in there I've put um, that the trigger body attachments must contain a specific URL, which is quite unique to praise badges. So once I put that in there, that will only fire this workflow on praise uh, posts within that Teams channel. And this is quite important because we don't want any messaging to fire off this workflow. Otherwise, we'll start to be running lots of flows um, checking for this information. It's a better way than using, for example, conditions um, to terminate a flow. Once we've uh, notified or received that notification that that message has been added or that praise has been added we need to get the message details so we're adding in here another action from teams which is get message details and there we're going to get the message id from the new message added trigger we're also going to say uh, the message type is the channel message and um, the team the channel we want to get it from as well um, we're leaving parent message id blank because we're not looking for replies um, we're purely looking for new praise within the team's channel Next, uh, we need to do one action, which is a compose action, and this is to um, filter out the sh long string that we get from when we run a praise um, uh, message or when a post is sent. It actually puts out as an adaptive card with a huge amount of strings in the body content. Um, and we don't really want to be able to have to, to filter all of that sort of out. And so we need to really um, compose this. So what we're doing here is we're just saying um, convert this into JSON. Um, we're going to go for the first trigger body, the attachments and the content. So we're looking for the attachment content. We want it to be in JSON so we can actually use it. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the praise message. So in here, again, we've just got a little variable um, to initialize and we're going to capture the last um, of the first outputs of the attachment content. Um, and in, in here, if we just scroll across, you can see we're looking for the body and the items and the text. So what I'll do is um, we'll run this through and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm actually just going to move a terminate condition um, just above here so we can actually run this without um, creating an item. OK, so let's give this a test. I'm going to click on this test here. We'll have a quick look at what this looks like. So this is just running. It's um, noticed that new channel message is added. Obviously, I've run this from a previous run. Um, it's getting the message details and filtering the attachment content. So if we have a look at this, for example, um, this is the body, as I mentioned before. Um, it puts it in quite a sort of a, a messy structure. Um, and if we scroll down, we can see there that we've got um, the content is actually in a really long um, sort of string that outputs there. So what we want to do with that content, the attachment content, is to grab that information and to put it into some useful 
um, items. So we can see that we've split this out. We've now got um, that I've sent praise. I can see the people I've sent it to. Um, I can also see within here um, the praise type is all text. I can also see the URL, which is the URL of the praise. So we can use that for the badge. Um, I could also see here I've got text, which is the text of that praise as well. So once I initialize that variable there, you can see that I can just take um, that praise message from the string and I can put that out as a string um, within that variable. OK, so let's jump back to edit. So I'm just going to move this terminate action down so we can see how this works when we create one. Um, next, because I mentioned we're able to send praise to multiple people at once, we need to do an apply to each. We want to basically create a new item for every person within that praise message. So we're adding an apply to each. And then there we're using dynamic content, which is the uh, the message mentions. So this is the mentions within the team's message. And then within here for the user profile, I'm adding in um, this a bit quick function. And with that function, we're saying from the apply to each items, I want the mentioned users and the ID of that user. So I want the mentioned user ID. OK, um, if you want to run a test on this, what you can actually do is you can um, put the uh, the default message item in there and that will output it will fail but it'll output um, the actual array that you want to get so you can use that to work out exactly um, what that looks like okay so that will get the id for the people that we're mentioning or sending message uh, the uh, the praise to um, next i want to create an item for each time um, a user's found so in here again i'm just going to the praise team we've got a list called teams praise um, I'm just going to give it a default title within there, but we could use the title field if we wanted to. Um, I've got the badge in there as well. So for the badge item, I'm just again going through um, all of that sort of information from that array, and I'm saying I just want the URL um, from there. For the giver claims, I'm just saying from the user who sent the message, obviously the person sending the praise in Teams, we can get that easily. Uh, the receiver claims, I'm getting from the mail from this action up here. Um, the date received, again, some dynamic content from the, the team's um, options there, so we can just grab that quite easily. And then the praise message, I'm using the variable that I created up here um, as well. So once I'm happy with that, I can go and test. I believe this is already run, so I'm just going to delete this out. And I'm just going to go to test, and I'm going to use the last um, run that we did. So just, let's test that and see what happens. So once that's running, um, we should be able to go back to our SharePoint list um, and that will post um, that praise directly into our SharePoint list for us. OK, so we can see that's now running. So it's going all the way through. It's just doing the apply to each. So we can see there we've got the two users and that's run successfully. So let's have a jump back to the praise list and I'll refresh that screen. And there we go. So we've got the badge. We've got the person who sent the praise. We've got the receiver. So the people who have received the praise, the praise type, um, the date received and also the reason of why they were praised. And this is really nice because now we can actually do some really cool things such as group by badge if we wanted to. So we can do that sort of thing. Again, we can apply column formatting as, as we wanted to if we wanted to, uh, wanted to make this list look a bit nicer. One of the things that I have done within this list to make the badge show as um, a, an image rather than um, a URL is I've just applied some formatting to this column. So in here, um, it's a single line of text column. I've just applied some basic um, JSON schema in there to, to convert this into an image. So I've just said the element types an image. We want the width of 100 pixels. It's nice size for, for SharePoint. Um, and the attributes, we're just using the source of the current field, which actually we're putting the image URL directly into there. Um, if I take that out, you can see that. If I just do this in preview, you can see there, this is the, the praise badge URL. So I'll just cancel that. OK, so really quickly, we've been able to build a workflow which captures praise from Microsoft Teams and input it into a SharePoint list. Next, we can maybe look at doing things such as building a power app, which will be really useful for gamification and showcasing um, to our team, maybe um, all of the different amounts of praise we've received over a period of time. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, we're actually going to put this out as a free download from our um, LinkedIn page and also from our website. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to connect with us on LinkedIn. We'll be happy to answer them.